so I think uh, there, there's several things that I believe could be litmus tests for, for this, right? So first and foremost is, hey, is there a hist historical track record here, right? Like, you know, a lot of times we're developing relationships with entrepreneurs years in advance of when we're actually investing in the company, right? And so is this somebody that has said, this is what I'm going to do, and then effectively executed on kind of delivering that vision? And, you know, obviously, kind of in the earlier stages of company, uh, kind of how accurate you are with projections and things like that, you expect that to get more accurate over time. And so it's not, it's not an unreasonable bar. But I think like, you know, if you have somebody that has consistently said, hey, I'm going to go out and do this amount of surveys and get this type of feedback and have these number of conversations, like, do they come back and say, hey, I did that. And like, that's something that I've now learned from, right? And so I think that type of being able to deliver on uh, kind of historically what you've said uh, is a huge uh, kind of leading indicator that, hey, this is somebody that will continue to do that in the future. Uh, I think the second way that we kind of uh, look at this is, you know, we we appreciate kind of founders who have taken the time to understand what else is out there, right? Uh, in terms of understanding who else is trying to do this, like, what does that competition kind of look like? Why are you positioned differently than kind of the competitors that actually exist? And so there's a deep appreciation when uh, a founder has taken the time to kind of actually understand who else is out there, kind of what does the competitive landscape look like, and really understand kind of uh, how their product is different than, let's say, uh, others that are out there. Uh, 